Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are making something very special. So with Mother's Day coming up, I thought that it would be super fun to put together a treat box um, for our moms out there. So this could be for, you know, treat makers. This could be an idea for you. This could also be a do it yourself, um, kind of project. If you want to do something nice and special for your mom yourself. So I call this the mother's day treat box and I'm going to walk you through how I built it. And of course I always give y'all, um, what I would normally charge for, even though I am a retired treat maker. So, um, in the M's, there are lemon cupcakes inside of the heart. Um, it is just chocolate covered strawberries. And then I will link down in the description box below where I got the box from. So let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean my strawberries. Now y'all have seen me make chocolate covered strawberries countless of times on this channel. So this will not be an in-depth um step by step how to make chocolate covered strawberries i will link a few of the videos down below in the description box so that you can get a step by step and slow motion on how to make the chocolate covered berries so here um i just have a bowl of cool water and then i'm gonna add some um baking soda to it what i will say next time i won't pour the baking soda directly on the strawberry because i think it like low-key burnt it or something low-key you'll see the um color the discoloration in it in a sec um they did come clean but i would add the baking soda to the water first and then add the strawberries and y'all look how disgusting this water is i was like oh yes okay so please clean your strawberries it is imperative because especially if you're selling these well you don't want nobody eating no dirty strawberries but if you're selling these please uh, take extra extra care in cleaning your strawberries okay so i let that sit for about 10 minutes to get all the gunk out and you see the little discoloration so yeah okay so as you know i clean the strawberries and then we're going to pat them dry because chocolate will not stick to water okay so very important to dry your strawberries so again this won't be a super in-depth i melted my chocolate i colored the chocolate like a real pretty powdered pink color because that's the vibes that's what we're going with okay because you know that side of um, just being a mother having a mother brings off the the very soft nice side of you and i just wanted to kind of bring that through so that's why i chose powder pink okay so as you can see my chocolate is a great consistency it's not thick it's nice and runny and that's the consistency that you guys should be going for again anything chocolate covered strawberry step by step how to i will have those videos linked down in my description box below and of course we have to do our classic um drizzle bam look how easy never fails she is uh, listen the classic dri drizzle never fails like regardless of what color you are dipping it just adds it's so simple clean but it really gets the job done so hmm, she won hands down look how simple that is so moving on we're done with the strawberries so i have um lemon supreme cake duncan hines you see it we're just gonna follow the instructions on the back. Don't substitute nothing for nothing. Follow what it says on the back of the box. The only thing that we are doing differently is adding a box of lemon jello to our mix, okay? So get you a good size clean bowl. You are going to start off adding your cake mix, okay? Make sure you get every little piece of scrap. Then you're gonna add in your um, jello mix. And I just took a piece of my um, mixer attachment and I just, you know, gave that a little swoosh around. And then I'm going to add in my eggs. And again, please follow the directions on the back of the box. Don't DM me, oh, can I substitute milk for water? I'm telling you, follow the directions on the back of the box. If you substitute, that's your business. I'm not saying that it's gonna turn out bad. All I'm saying is that it's unnecessary, especially if you're doing this as a business to use more expensive ingredients when it's not necessary, okay? Okay, mix all that together. And then with these, you wanna be super careful because that pudding is gonna make your cupcake kinda of expand a little bit more. So you don't wanna fill these up um, to the brim. A little less than three fourths of the way full is enough because you don't want it to like rise and look like a muffin top, you feel me? So go ahead and fill your liners. 
and then I put this in the oven on 350 degrees for 14 minutes. And this is what my cupcakes look like. As you can see, they are nice and level. They're not too big. And boop, this is gonna work perfect because you'll see in a sec how we're gonna have to squeeze these babies in there, okay? So next, excuse me, y'all, I got a little cold. Next is um, our buttercream. So I will also leave this full recipe in the description box below. I started off creaming my butter and then I went ahead and let that beat for about five to seven minutes. And as you can see, it's two totally different colors. So do that first, let it cream. I did set a timer and everything for this. And then um, I waited after those seven minutes. I let mine beat for seven before I added my sugar. And you want to add in your sugar half at a time, okay? So once you let that go, you want to um, scrape down your edges so that everything is nice and incorporated. And then you're gonna go ahead and beat it until everything is incorporated. I am going to add just a few dots of the pink because again, we're going for that like really pretty light powder pink. I don't want hot pink. That's not the vibe we're going for today. So a few drops will do the trick. Always start with less and then if you need to add more, that's fine. This is the pink I was going with, but as you can see on my paddle, there's some inconsistency. So I still see butter, I still see some white. So just make sure you scrap all, scrape all of that down and then let it beat again before you're moving on to the next step. So here's my box. Um, I got my box from Amazon. I'm not gonna lie y'all, this box is expensive AF. Um, the box was like $36, <laughs> but this is what we're doing. So um, I just thought that this would be super different. Like I haven't seen this on the market for any treat making and it was just original. So this is why I chose this box. And I saw the vision as soon as I saw the box, I knew I wanted to fill it with cupcakes and strawberries. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is actually place my cupcakes in the M. So remember we're doing the letter M's as cupcakes and then the heart in the middle is going to be chocolate covered strawberries. So place your cupcakes in first because if you ice them and then try and place them in the box, it's going to be a disaster. So as you can see, honey, baby, uh, we had to squeeze <laughs> that last cupcake in it. And when I was planning this, I'm like, okay, all we're going to need is seven cupcakes, but we turn it out and we needed eight on each side. So always bake extra. If you feel like you have enough, bake a few extra just in case because that came in handy. So all of them fit, thank God, eight on each side. Now we're gonna go in with frosting the cupcakes. So I am using the Wilton 1M tip, my favorite tip, literally one of the only tips that I only use. I have a piping bag and our buttercream is ready to go and we're going to pipe a rosette style design on this cupcake again, super simple. Um, so with the rosette, you wanna start in the middle and slowly work your way out. But in this instance, and in what we're decorating, you wanna make sure that your cupcake is completely covered. Like you don't wanna see any size of the cupcake. Failed to do that on the very cu first cupcake, as you can see. But after that, I noticed and I noted it and made sure to completely cover the brim so that you could not see within those cracks, okay? So start off slow. Again, the rosette is super simple. It's all about just taking your time and making sure you get that complete swirl around. So I'm gonna al allow you guys to enjoy the piping. I'm just gonna be quiet for a second. So now that we're done piping, um, it's time to kind of place these strawberries. So at first I was just gonna put the strawberries in, but I was not feeling that. So I decided to place the strawberries in the cupcake liner. I just felt like that brown would bring it like a real professional look and it'll kind of make the pink pop and you know, color blocking a little bit because the cupcakes are already pink. So we need another color to tie it all together. So I used my cupcake liners and then I just played around with it. I dipped way more berries than I needed, but I didn't know how many I would need um, to fill 
the heart. Remember, berries come in different shapes, you know, different sizes. So just dip a few more extra than what you'll think you need and then just kind of play around with it. And you might have to squeeze the last one in it and just make sure that they're all facing the same way. And boom. So I did go back and I did add um, a little bit of gold flake and I just used some um, food grade alcohol Tito's <laughs> and some um, gold luster dust. And I mixed that around a little bit and just kind of splattered around and that really, really Took it to the next level, added an extra, you know, pop. So, um, yeah, this is how it turned out beautifully. I was really, 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 really happy with how this turned out. I have not seen this done anywhere else, so y'all seen it here first, okay? So, a beautiful Mother's Day treat box. So, I know everybody wants to know, okay, well, how much would you charge for this? So, I literally just added up all my materials, and with the box and with everything else, um, it came to about $50. Um, you need to pay for your time. You need to pay for, um, you know, driving or whatever else, labor. So I priced this box at $120 for it to be pretty much identical to this. They could play around with the flavor of the cupcakes. They could play around with the color of the chocolate and the buttercream. But yep, $120. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.